ever wanted to create your own game levels but don't know where to start? In this video, I'll show you how to begin level designing in Unreal Engine 5, even if you're a complete beginner. Let's jump right in. To quickly test our levels, we need a character that moves around. Instead of setting it up manually or creating something from scratch, we'll use Advanced Locomotion System or ALS, which is completely free on the Unreal Marketplace. Once downloaded, make sure to create a new Unreal Engine project using ALS. Now that we have a character controller ready, let's test ALS. You can run, jump, crouch, and even bolt over different objects. This is perfect for testing mechanics, level design metrics, and other elements that are very important when designing levels. Now, let's create a brand new map to start designing our level. Go to File, New Level, and choose the basic template. Once you have that new level ready, go to Window, World Settings, and make sure to choose the ALS controller so that you can start using it in your level. It's important to know that Unreal Engine has powerful tools for level design. First, let's look at modeling mode right here, which lets you create simple shapes like walls, floors, and platforms. I'm going to create a cube and leave everything else at its default settings. For this video, I'll choose dynamic mesh instead of static mesh. You can check the link in the description below for some of the pros and cons of both. But the main difference is that static meshes are saved inside the content browser, allowing you to reuse them in any level. Dynamic meshes, on the other hand, are only safe within the level, making them a good option if you don't want to manage hundreds of static meshes in your content browser. Now let's make this cube look better. Unreal Engine allows you to create material instances, which lets you customize existing materials without modifying the original. I'll be using a material with a grid pattern here, which you can find in the level prototyping folder of your project. When you create a cube from the modeling tab, you'll notice that the pivot is placed in the center by default. A quick tip, change the grid snapping to 50, then go to the modeling tab, open the X form section, and edit the pivot directly there. It's important to keep the snap value at 50 or lower so you can precisely align it to a corner. Once the pivot is set in a corner, press accept, then change the grid snap to 100 and press Ctrl N to snap it to the grid. This setup makes it much easier to scale, move, and rotate the cube while keeping everything clean and organized. I always try to use grid snapping as much as possible to maintain alignment and prevent messy levels. Before jumping into the details, every grade level starts with a blockout. A blockout is a rough version of your level made with simple shapes. When building your blockouts or testing level metrics, I highly recommend using a grid material like the one I showed earlier. It's very important to get the scale right as early as possible to avoid wasting time on assets that don't fit the game's dimensions. Materials like this help level designers quickly test different visual styles before committing to final textures and materials. Now, take a look at my uncharted level. See how most of the structures are basic cubes and shapes? This helps me test the level flow before adding detailed models. It also takes significantly less time to make these shapes, so I can dedicate more time to work on the layout and other aspects of the level. It is important to keep in mind that you want to make this environment believable and not necessarily realistic, which are two different things. That's it. You just learned the basics of level design in Unreal Engine 5 in under five minutes. If you want more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more level design content. I'll see you guys in the next one.